Okay, I'm filming this like five days past from what I've recorded. So we're gonna do a little bit of like, like a box pop over the top. So, well, that was a good rhyme. I'm like Shakespeare, what can I say? And you know, maybe that drama degree did pay off in the end. I'm in the barrack, but it's an hour late because the clocks have gone forward, so it's like four o'clock. And I'm not too tired today because um, this is where I've been. Bye. What time is it? What time is it? Wait, what? Do I have the time up here? It's 3.15. There we go. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, bye bye. Oh, let me turn the oven on. But not only is it Ramadan Mubarak, it's now also the first day of Layla Lut Kadal. Very important. Now, some of you may say, wait, 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 we've seen this guy stay up before. Is he going to crash and burn? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, probably, probably I'm going to crash and burn and fall asleep. This was another day where I decided not to sleep. I want people to know I am sleeping. It's just, it's just apparently the days where I'm decided to film, I'm decided not to sleep. And therefore, I'm just knackered throughout the day. If there's anything I've learned from Ramadan, get your sleep in. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. But remember, I'm hard as nails. So we're probably, we're probably just whining all the way through the day. So I did a live stream. I'll, I'll link it down below with some good peeps. I'll put Alex's video down below. It was great. It was a laugh. I told them I was cooking my chicken and they all thought I was mental for not going to sleep. But you know what? Again. Hard as nails, and you're not. I'm hard as nails. Everyone remember that. So we're doing some chicken. I don't know what with. Maybe just some yogurt. I'm a simple man. I'm a simple, you know, nails, nails don't eat. Nails don't eat. I just need water. That's, well, that's all I've learned, really, doing Ramadan, or Ramadan Mubarak. Um, I'm just thirsty, more than anything. Um, how, how is everything going? Uh, fine, to be honest. It's fine. This this is. I have nothing much to say. Gut health is gut wealth. While Mr. Chicken Breast cooks for forty five minutes, I'm gonna read the Quran. Ramadan Mubarak. I think I'm just gonna eat bad. I don't think I can cook anything else. I don't think I have time. But hey, you know what? One chicken breast is better than no chicken breast. Ramadan Mubarak. Well, after I do Fajr, I'll, I'll be going to bed. This is really important to mention. I don't really have any update. I'm so used to not eating within the day. It's kind of like a bit of a, a, a day in the life at the moment. And this boy over here doesn't really have a life. <laughs> and if he did, it wouldn't be that much entertaining. But nevertheless, nevertheless, I think something did happen at this point. Good girl, sit. Could you have found a muddier place? <laughs> A what? A She's guarding us from the fairies. Blobby doesn't like gum. Hi. A bug. How do you know it's a bug? I just want to jump down. How do you know it's a bug? I don't know. It just is, okay. Well, I haven't seen this before. Oh, this is cool. I mean, if I absolutely did capture nothing, I'll put a picture of a meadow up. That's a flat hand. <laughs> We're back to the goats. Hazel, do you like the goats? Yeah, they're very tickling. <laughs> they're very tickling. <laughs> Where should we go? <laughs> to another goat. Okay. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Panic! Oh no! <laughs> Horses. I want to see a different animal. Let me guess. Goats. Yeah, the goats again. Go on, go and see the goats. She's off to see the ponies again. Ah, 
And this was big for me. Oh, yeah, I told my dad I was Muslim, and he was like, okay, and I was like, cool. That was literally the conversation. What a wonderful day. My childhood friend, he was my best man at my wedding. We love him, we adore him. Uh, he has been texting me non-stop ever since uh, I reverted, being like, oh, I need to know so much. So uh, I invited him to the mosque, and he was like, can I just turn? I was like, oh yeah, come, come on down. Hi. <laughs> we. It's the first day of Layla Qadar. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to explain who you are? I'm Liam. Well, Liam. Keenan's best friend. Hi. Hi. Are you Muslim? No. You go to the mosque? I am. Probably. Looking forward. I am. Quite... What do you know about Islam? Not a lot. Yeah, what do you think it's about? I, mean, I don't really know. It's not something which I really, really much thought about until, until obviously you said you, you've converted to Islam. But I am quite interested in it since we've had a discussion, especially like Ramadan. I've done one day of Ramadan. He's done one, one day. day. No drink. It's, it's, no food. And it's absolutely killing me. <laughs> It, it, honestly, honestly, like, it, it's hard for the first few days, but, like, now I'm kind of bored. I kind of, like, okay, I, I wake up at four, I eat, and then I eat late, or I go to the mosque and eat. Yeah, I saw your videos, and then... I saw your videos. Like, subscribe. <laughs> I saw your videos, and it was basically just, uh, just you eat dinner at, like, four o'clock in the morning. Nice. <laughs> it's a good life. It's a good life. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I'm not going to continue doing it. Like, the little I do when I was wrong about, like, the things you... Like, you can only eat, like, halal. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, like, no pig. No pig. No alcohol. No alcohol. That's... <laughs> That's not too bad. But I needed to cut out alcohol no, a long, like... long time ago. <laughs> but, do you see, but do you understand? Don't like, this all. is how, like, similar it is to Judaism. It's like, it's not that much different. You mean it's Judaism? No, you can't drink alcohol if you... Yeah, yeah, you, you can. It's like, a whole thing about it. But, like, you can't eat pork. Oh, yeah. You have to eat, like, kosher. Which is very similar, similar to halal in, like, to the layman. They're very similar. So, well, Allah is God, isn't it? That's yeah, it's just an Arabic word. So who's the great prophet Muhammad? Peace be upon him. Peace, peace be upon him. So, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the final messenger of Allah. So you have Abraham, which is the Abrahamic religions. What, got, Ab is it different? No, it's the same, same Abraham. What, from... Bible. From the Bible, you have Moses. Yeah, because he parted the Red Sea. He started Red Sea, so that's the Talmud. Yeah. Which is Judaism. Jesus is a major prophet. In yes. Islam. Yes. He, he is the Messiah. He was born from God to a virgin birth. He's just not God. Right. And then you have Muhammad, peace be upon him. And to all the prophets, you should say, peace be upon them. After each one, so Muhammad hasn't got a special um, status. So you don't just say Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. You say Jesus peace be upon him. You say Muhammad. Um, you say Moses peace be upon him. Abraham peace be upon him. Right. Um, it's just that Islam views the Torah, the Old Testament, yeah, Old Testament verses, um, and the Bible as not uh, accurate. Or not accurate, yeah, that they're corrupted in some way. So right. the role of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was to uh, receive the Quran. So through revelation, he iterated out the words of Allah, right. which were then written down. And then the Quran basically simplifies and justifies what happened in the previous books, but it's like the final word on it. Right. Right, right. I'm kind, I'm kind of following it. Um, so, whereas, uh, so the New Testament, you have the Gospels. So Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, who say this is what Jesus's life was. The Quran doesn't go into Jesus's life per se, but will go like these are the major teachers that you need to know. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Like, is it like at all? Like, like thousands of years ago he lived. One thousand four hundred years ago. Right. So about 600 years after... Jesus. Jesus, yeah. Right. So there you have, like, Christianity begins to spread and you get a lot of different denominations with Christianity, yeah. which is why you get... There's, there's two main... There's, there's different sects in Islam, I'm not trying to say it, it's different. But you kind of have Christianity spreads and then 
Muslims believe that the Prophet Muhammad came down to almost like ratify what had been said and to kind of clear up exactly what had been like what, like basically what is the final word of Allah and there will be no other message after the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he is the last messenger of God so after, there's nothing else right so it's it, it, it is Islam and then there's nothing else you won't, you won't have anything else right and then the Quran itself in its writing and because it was written down you know, it was because it was scribed by the Prophet Muhammad's uh, followers. The Quran is, to this day, the exact same Quran that you have back then. There's, there's no change. There's, yeah, right. So, like for me, so for the Bible, where you have like the Apocrypha, which is a book. Yeah. We have many different books in the Bible, but there's almost like a like what's allowed in the official Bible. Right. So the Apocrypha is this really like um, weird book where. The Catholics don't have it, but Protestants do have it, or it's the other way around, I'm not entirely sure. And then that to me is like, but then you're kind of censoring the word of God, surely. Like someone's going, yeah, we're not going to include that one. And then right. why isn't it? Where the Quran is a hundred plus surahs, and that's it. That's all you get. Are you looking forward to praying? <laughs> I'm interested. Okay, why? I don't know, it's just, it's just something new, like something to learn and, and something that I've never been so I'm a bit nervous in regards to that but yeah I'm, I you am, are nervous yeah I'm, I'm very nervous <laughs> it's because, because I'm not a Muslim and think like, you're a Muslim a revert a revert is it is that yeah so yeah, yeah revert conversion right for, yeah for, for now they're the same they're the same I'm looking at my like bought my bum fluff patches on the camera. No, you need a, no, you need a beard. You need a beard. This is good. I need a beard. Look at the state of that. It doesn't matter. I've got a shave. No one's going to worry about that. <laughs> we're going early to the mosque and I'll, I'll show I'll show you what to do. Yeah, I've, I've seen you were um, you YouTube short on... Like and subscribe. <laughs> I've seen a YouTube short where you were in McDonald's and they give you your own little room and you had like a red carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My prayer mat, yeah. To pray on, yeah. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's a, it's. I'm gonna be interested in how you feel afterwards because I told you I don't think I've said yeah, it. Broke. I broke down the first. I went to a mosque. I didn't go during the major prayer times. Yeah. I was kind of walking past. And I was like, I'm just gonna go in. And I absolutely broke down. Was it like like wholly broke down? I can't explain it. Like tears down my eyes. Like it was this whole. Something I'd never had before previously. And I was like the only person in the mosque. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing. I, I was, I, I, I basically fluffed the entire thing. I didn't really know what probably to do. So I'm... I didn't know like any of the verses. I, I was I just trying to get to grips with it. But it was like the most like powerful thing ever. It was really weird. And at that moment I was like, this is... I'm either gonna have to like completely turn my back on this. Or I have to like fall in head first. And I fell. I tripped, I scraped my knee, and here I am today. <laughs> so have you got like like you said, like you first went there uh, at like not a big prayer time. What types are like prayer times and stuff? So they, they all change every day, it's based on um, the set of when it rises. Um, so you have Fajr, which is the earliest one, which is like four or five o'clock. Well, it's five o'clock now because the, the clocks have gone forward. Um, so would you get up every morning and pray at that time? Yeah, so during Ramadan, you oh. wake up, eat, and then you, like, start your fast with, like, the intention to fast, you say, uh, basically, like, I'm going to do this. Like, I, I'm going to commit myself to this. And then you pray your normal salah, which is, yeah, like, really, really early in the morning. So, like, do you have to get up at 4 a.m.? Or is that just like the common sense to get up and eat? Just... It's probably, it's probably, it's probably more common, common sense. sense. You can sleep through it. You could sleep through it, but then you haven't eaten or drunk since since then. Since like so, like seven, eight o'clock. Like I, I've done it. I've not. I've, I've slept through the alarm, and I woke up and gone. Okay, I didn't. And like the last time I ate was like eight p.m. And now it's six a.m. Yeah. And, you've got and now I have to wait like another twelve, 12 hours, hours to eat. To eat. And those days are rough. Those days are rough. 
Um, so what do you eat then? What is like a what is a tra traditional breakfast for Kira when he wakes up at four a.m. Uh, white rice because <laughs> I can I can pre-program it so it just comes on a three. So just just white just, rice. Just, just, <laughs> Yeah, because sometimes I'm too tired. Nothing else, like... Sometimes like, I'll buy, like, tins of, like, uh, like curries, like, aloo gobies, like, something, like, uh, I think will somewhat fill me up. There's something that's a bit different to... Br I did start just having, like, cereal. Yeah. Um, but I didn't, I didn't feel as though I was full from it. So I kind of basically had to, like, go, like, what's the cheapest, like, way I could do, like, a, a basic dinner at 4am? And it's like, I could just stick white rice on and heat up a tin of something. Yeah. Just for ease. So you just prep the night before, man. Just... You could prep the night before, but there's a difference between prep the night before and waking up at 4am. <laughs> yeah. That's the difference. If you were staying up, but like, obviously like I start work at 6am. Ah, uh, right. On the weekday, so I'm kind of like, I need to get my sleep in. So you work from home? No. You're back in the office? No, 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 no. I got from home. Yeah, but Let's uh, get the elephant out of the room. What made you convert? Like, so obviously, like, you must have had an interest or speaking to someone, but so... Did you ever meet my 10 years ago? No. Ah, oh, yeah, you probably didn't. He, mate, he's the nicest man. He texted me and he was really happy. But anyway, but never that. Mate, I literally used to speak to him and I was like, I had no clue about anything about Islam. And I would just chat to him and he would kind of, like, give me, like, like, like general pointers. He wasn't like, I don't know, this is the truth. Nothing like that. I mean, nicest guy ever. Um, and, yeah, I suppose that might have kick-started it, like, in all honesty. But then I was... Yeah, just like, I think I'm going to read the Quran, because I have no idea what the Quran's about. Turned up at my door, and it's way shorter than you think. <laughs> I was thinking, like, oh, wait, like, I'm, I'm, I'm lost here. Started reading it. I basically nodded my head through all of it going... Yeah, this makes sense. Well, there's nothing really here. There's like a major disagreement with. Everything makes sense. Then I went to the mosque at that moment where it broke down. And I, again, it's that point where I, I think you have to kind of be like, I, I either like completely turn my back on all of this, I rescind the entire idea, or I have to go in for it. Yeah. How long ago was this? Last week. What, last week? Last you, week. What, last week you... Converted? No, I don't mean like full or large. But like, oh, when did, I get, when, I, when did I get the Quran? Yeah, like when oh, you walked down in mosque and stuff like that. Oh, mosque was... January, I want to say. Sometime in January. Right, 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 right. Oh, <laughs> then, yeah, yeah. Sometime in January. It was just after the new year. But it's been a while. So I start, yeah, so I started reading it like three, yeah, three months before that. When I was being, yeah, it's been three months of Ramadan now. Right. As of today. So I had like, yeah, like I had like a good two months like sitting on it. Yeah. But it's a very, it's a very different thing. I, I it's a, it's, it's, it's a different thing altogether. Because I never, I never connected with prayer. At, at all, no, religiously. I, I would be that person who would be like, like, if you get something from it, like, that's really good, but I, I have not once gained, like, like an iota of sense of, like, a connection. Yeah. But there's something about... There's something about the prostration where your head's on the ground that is very... Um, I can't describe it the first time I did it. It feels really odd the first time you do it. Like, I shouldn't be in this position. Because it's, it go very, it's, well, Islam means submission. And it is like a very submissive state. You are kind of, I can't really describe it. Yeah. But when you do subdued, which is where, yeah, where yeah, your head will touch the ground. Yeah, it was like as soon as my head touched the ground in mosque, like, bam, happened instantly. Oh, it's very, very overwhelming. 
you might find absolutely nothing. And I think that's completely fair. If, if, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's not meant to. Inshallah. That's a nice, nice little Arab, Arab, yeah, Arabic word for you. Like, if God wills. If God there you wills. go. Inshallah. Inshallah. Oh, do you actually know how to say, like, hello to a, to a buzzer? You're going to you have to learn this. Oh, does he know it? Oh, what is it? Salam alaikum. Asalaam alaikum. There we go. Yes. If they say it to you, what do you have to say back? Alaikum salam. My gosh, you've done your homework. How was it? It was very, very interesting. Thoughts? And, and I wasn't expecting it to be how it was. Like, obviously, it was like the, the imam. Yeah, man. Yeah. When I spoke to him, he was lovely and very understanding that I did like, like the prayer and I didn't need to pray. And, yeah, yeah. Yet everybody was so very welcoming. They, they knew that I um, they knew that I fasted all day. They're very proud of it. They were very proud and they were like all just very welcoming. And in, and in yeah, the, I'm sad. And in the sense of like, like as I said to you, I said to you in there, I was like, you get a real sense of brotherhood and like family and stuff. Like everybody, everybody which I met was like shake my hand and like. Being very, very friendly. And yeah, it was, it was a really, really good experience. Good man. Well, how was the food? And I thought it was going to be like all like special, special food or different type of food. Like yeah, but it was like Chinese. It's great. <laughs> it's samosas. It was great. And and the jalabi. Oh, everyone liked you. Yes. Like the jalabi. Those, those jalabis, man, it just like caught in lentils. He said in like sugar and syrup. Highly recommend. I don't like. There's one thing to take from this video: jalabis. Jala I think it's jala jalebi, jalabi. Jalebi, jalabi. Oh, I'll put a photo there, and people will go. Yeah. Oh, okay. White boys. Boom. But there. Bam. It's gonna be but there. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Would you go to the mosque again? I would. I would. There we go. Inshallah. But fingers crossed, inshallah, he turns up again. I, he really enjoyed it. We've had a, a few conversations since. He's learning more about Islam, of, of which he knew absolutely nothing about, as you can see from those previous clips. But, but, I think even if nothing is to happen, if nothing is to happen, he's learned and he's understood. And I think that's important. I think it's more important that people begin to undo all of their baggage, their haulage, their little suitcases of confusion, of biases when it comes to Islam. Anyway, we're in the last five days of Ramadan as we speak, as of this video. And I know I put this video up and I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much to, I, I have been, I've never been inundated. I feel somewhat popular by the amount of inundation. It is, it is a bit baffling to me, but I am touched in ways, like again, humbled. This whole thing has just humbled me to people in general. Ah, oh, Jazakallah Kairu. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, but you know what? You gotta try, hey? I am, I am so thankful, I am so grateful from the absolute bottom of my heart that it is, it is unlike anything. It is unlike anything I have ever encountered before. Truly astonishing. It's truly astonishing. It weighs, again, I can't really express, I can't put it into words. Uh, for everyone, Thank you.